I know, because this one, there's a lot of glitching. Like, it looks like they're transporting to different yeah, location yeah. to location. I think maybe that's why, too. Glitching, well, a cool effect. It almost feels like you're warping from one thing to the next mm -hmm. and can feel a little disruptive visually, I think. It's video game reaction time! Ah, uh, yeah! And today we're back with another League of Legends original music video and song. A what? Yeah. This year's version. The 2019 champions just wrapped up, literally just last week. I kind of wish we had time to check it out, but they did drop a new track and uh, the whole new song, no KDA, but they did invite back the Korean gal from Idol. Which one? So Young, the one that does the rap because she is so freaking good. Everyone else though is brand new uh -huh. and they brought in Becky G. Becky G. Who? What? Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. <laughs> That's Chicken what you noodle remember. Chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. True Damage is the name of the made up band this time. <laughs> the song is called Giants. Oh, man, I can't wait to check this out because every time we've seen their music videos, I'm telling you, it feels like at this point, Riot should just say, we're going to open up a music division <laughs> because everything they work on, everything they touch has been just yes. freaking amazing. Yep, it always impressed yeah. me. Yeah, like chart topping music, amazing music videos. And of course, you know, because they're the like, biggest gaming company in the world, they can literally get they any can artists afford. they want in it. <laughs> yes, exactly. What? Giants. This is not a, like, giant the sports one. What? What giant sports? <laughs> no, the giants. The, uh, no, never mind. All right, let's watch this. All right, let's <laughs> do it. And away we go. Beautiful visuals nice. again, of course. I like it when you do yeah, yeah. Moving too fast, I'm moving in slow-mo. I'm a god, but I actually don't know. Let me better put your pride aside. My bands get more like a Volvo. Your best stuff looks like my worst. Synapses fire and burst. Got the whole crew with me, but they do damage. You know we ain't average. I ain't gonna set a second. Dude, I love this guy. This guy's good. I'm a genius in the skies with my heart on my sleeve. You force you a block to a king in his prime. Everybody got a line. Sit back with the stars in line. I finesse like my life on the nine. Was a diamond in the rough and now I shine. That's Becky. That's Becky? Oh my god, the visuals are freaking phenomenal. It's just crazy. That seems like the most dangerous place for you to play your DJ set. Yeah. <laughs> So different. It's like hand drawn almost.
What? That was good. I don't want it to end. I know. I feel like actually they could have gone one more time around the verse because <laughs> it's really good. Oh, boy. It's good. Oh, nice. wow. I mean, it's definitely much more uh, hip hop infused this time, but definitely got that EDM electronic pop feel to it, similar to like what they did with KDA. I wonder if it's the same artists that worked on the songs or not, or if they're completely different. Mm. Um, or if it's just the fact that League of Legends probably appeals to that crowd. So they're just like, right, this is the, thematically what we're going with. <laughs> I love the musicality on this one. Although the production, or do you call that production? For what, the video? Yeah, the mm -hmm. video. I guess the you music video, yeah. I still love my, <laughs> my girls, KGA, on how hardcore, how it, it's just, the way everything flowed, I think, in that song fit the beats really well. So as you're listening to the music, you watch the visual, it almost feels like you're kind of going along for the ride. This one, if I were to try to describe it, it almost felt like they went too far in introducing so many different type of visual styles and camera angles that your mind is just constantly moving to the next thing, next thing, that you never get to feel like you're part of the ride. Mm -hmm. Like they shifted from one style where then they're like, it's one of those like 360 globes that are popping up. And then it's like hand drawn. And then it's like warped. Like it's constantly shifting. And it's cool. It keeps you on the edge of your seat, but it never actually feels like it's one continuous music video. Mm. It almost felt like it was a bunch of different chunks that was worked on by different teams mm. and then put together, put together right. Together well, I think KDA, well, I, there were some parts of KDA that made me go like, what the hell is this about? Like when they were in the laundromat, I didn't get that at all. Mm. But it had a theme and feel of it being, um, like it was constantly flowing. I really liked that about that music mm. video. I know, cause this one, there's a lot of glitching. Like it looks like they're transporting to different yeah, location yeah. to location. I think maybe that's why too. Glitching, well, a cool effect. It almost feels like you're warping from one thing to the next mm -hmm. and can feel a little disruptive visually, I think. I mean, that's what they're going for, so, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, but other than that, they're still good, though. I, oh. I mean, this is like the best stuff you can get, Dang. right? I feel like, like I said, I think Riot should open up a music they production should. company. Actually, not just for the music, but for video production. They yes. should have other musicians come to them and say, you know what? I want the best in the industry. Mm -hmm. I know this is where it's going. I'm not, I don't want to film real life, me in front of my cars and my bling anymore kind of thing. No, I want you to create for me the most awesome virtual car and me flying around it kind but of But I thing. think they're happy with this one, right? Every year they will come up and create music for the fans. Yeah. Not um, just, it's not their focus, you know, their focus is the game. They are so big, they can literally focus on anything now. I mean, this is the first time, this year was literally the first year that Riot has started to indicate that they won't be known as just a League of Legend game company. Because that's all they did. It's literally one game that's propelled them into worldwide dominance. They're working on other games now for like the very first time. And so if you're gonna extend that way, extend to a bunch of other stuff like merchandise, music videos. At this point, you're a entertainment company, right? I think mm -hmm. that's the way to think about it. Think of yourself as like Disney. Right, mm -hmm. think of yourself as like one of those big companies that is like you know has IPs mm -hmm. and they make games from it, they make music from it, they make TV shows from it. That's what they have here. Right, that's just right. a shift in thinking. I think from a you know as we as you grow in size, to shift well, away from being just a game company. Eventually, they'll get to that part. Yeah, I think if you all need help. You can always give me a shout out. Although I did at this point interview for Riot twice and both times I never got a job there. So oh, no. <laughs> you all suck. <laughs> but you love them. Yeah, this game still is, uh, it's a love hate for this game. It's a love hate for this game. It gets me, uh, my blood pressure goes too high whenever I play it. <laughs> Very important secret. Power comes to those who will do anything to achieve it.